I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We just finished up this 1885 Chickering and it turned out beautiful. This uh, style is pretty typical of, of 1880s into the 1890s and then, and then things kind of, kind of calmed down. You can actually see that, that Kanabi right over there in the mirror. That one's 1888. So just three years after this one. And then why don't we come over here real quick just to give a little, that third one in the mirror, that Fisher, that's, that's typical of, of a little bit later, 1910 or so. And then, uh, and then the one in the middle, the Anderson, that one is, things start to calm down a little bit more. But uh, anyway, and, you, and <clears throat> you, you, can, you can see very much a progression from the 1880s and 1890s when things were, were quite ornate and, and, and the, the craftsmen were really having fun with, with their abilities, which by the way, these abilities, I don't think that they exist, at least not on the scale that they did at this time. I don't think they exist now. But we do have CNC machines. But all of this, of course, was hand, was hand work. This is rosewood, which is, uh, is, was a highly prized type of wood. I think simply because it's so beautiful. It's so cozy and gorgeous. And in fact, this type of rosewood was so over harvested at this time, not only by American manufacturers, but also even, even more so by European manufacturers of furniture and, and pianos for that matter, that now, 100 years later, 100 and 20, 130 years later, Brazilian rosewood is now illegal. And it's, it's actually not just a little bit illegal, it is very illegal to, uh, to harvest. So, so this piano actually, even though, even though this piano was, uh, um, well, same, same, same thing with the, this was originally ivory, but the ivory was in poor condition. And, and there's not much we can do about that. So we did replace it with, with new, new keys. Same with the sharps. The, uh, or sorry, the, the sharps are actually refinished, but, the, but the, the ivory was just replaced. The, so, so that of course is very illegal. Um, and, and the same treaty, it's like an international treaty. They have different levels of illegality. And the very highest one, the most illegal, the most protected species include elephants for ivory and Brazilian rosewood. They're in the same highest, most protected part of that treaty. Okay, the petals also are the original petals, but they've been, they've been uh, replated and they look beautiful. And you can see on the inside. Now, now originally, this type of piano, they had, they had like velvet lining the inside of all of this. And if you've seen any of my other videos of pianos that we've redone from this era, we always leave that off just because my own personal preference, I like to be able to see the guts. I don't think it necessarily does anything for the sound, maybe a little bit, but not that I could, I wouldn't be able to notice it. I think what it really does is, is it, I think it just looks cool. You can just see the action in there. So you can see we've got new hammers in there. All those hammers are brand new. We've got new dampers in there, lots of other new parts. The strings are original. They, they sound great, as you'll hear in a minute. And then uh, here's the um, fall board. We've got we got these replated other parts, more of the glass smooth uh, rosewood. And then this, uh, this part here, kind of, kind of a creative solution for putting your music. There's two things that stick out got some keys need to be cleaned off okay well let's uh, let's listen to it piano sounds great
rich and full. sound a piano from 1885 or what did we say 1885 is that what it was mm -hmm. uh, that that sounds that good I mean the, the, the way it looks that aside it's gorgeous so this this piano is like a complete package it sounds amazing and it is absolutely gorgeous I think uh, I think the person that ends up with this piano is going to be really lucky this is a very unique piano in so many ways from the from the rosewood to the carving to the the beauty the how well it's it's been preserved and redone with with the inside the outside this is just this is a treasure really happy to have this piano here um, I wonder how long it will be here before <laughs> before someone discovers how awesome this piano is come in check it out and try it for yourself I think you'll be very pleased. The address here is 1497 South State Street. We also ship around the country. We are we are always shipping out all over all over the country. So if you're out of state, that's actually a pretty easy process to to get this piano to you. A lot more um, doable than than you might expect for a 600 pound, relatively fragile object. Thanks for watching.